Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episodes, we made the flying pig and then beautified a different ship, specifically this one here, the Bombard version 3. And we really just added some extra pipes to it, but it, it just adds something a bit extra. So we have currently one, two, three, four cities under our control. Uh, this is our first one here, which has a large shipyard. We then have a small shipyard with cheap wood, which is 10% module cost and minus 50% wooden armor cost. So very good. We have a one here, which gives us the advanced aircraft, which we'll have a look in a moment. And then finally cheap guns. So basically to build stuff, we've got the right cities for it to cheap it out. And obviously we've now got uh, some nice aircraft. We've got a design ship. We'll be able to see those in aircraft. We have a triplane. We have the Hazar Bay. We have a bomber. And finally, we have a biplane. Now, we had a couple of these before, but obviously the advanced ones are, I'm guessing, Hazar Bay. That would be... No, not that one. Mm, I don't know. Don't know which one it says. Oh, advanced aircraft. Advanced aircraft. Right, so we had the triplane and the Hazabe, so we got the bomber and the biplane. Cool, okay, fantastic. So, what do we want to build and where do you want to go? Well, I think if we look on this map here, the next part of call should be these two because we, well, if we take these two, then we don't really have to worry about um, getting attacked from the side and then we've just got a battle on one front. Now, what I want to do is um, unpause it while that guy attacks and yes, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, green has just been defeated and looks like uh, red is now going to attack blue. That's fine. What I want to do, I take these out and then we've just got one one bit to uh, attack. So let's just have a quick look at this city. We can see they've got um, two vessels and they're really, really interesting ones, these. Because as you can see, they are tanks, but they've also got a... Uh, a triplane on the top of them as well. Nothing airbound, and we've also got a couple of vessels here. Uh, sorry, vessels? Uh, a couple of defensive structures. Apparently one has got some camouflage. <laughs> that's impressive bush right there. Uh, right on the front of it, so that's going to get, you know, all protection and stuff. It's it's not. It's going to do nothing at all when uh, we bombard it with a lot of torpedoes. Uh, they, they do have, however, one, two, three dorsal guns, a lot of flak, and just uh, general cannonage, so that might be an issue. However, if we go here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven flying pigs, one bot fly, one bombard, and one centipede. And if we just go to defences, we can see that we've got oh, more than enough defences to really deal with that. So I'm going to invade that one there and take this over. And once we've taken this, I want to then, good grief, look how fast that is there. They're zipping through there. That's very, very fast indeed. And they've managed to take it as well. Anyway. I want to just I want to take this over, and then I want to build a ground vessel, which uh, has been suggested in the comments, but we'll get to that in a moment. So this one is just going to be a long range uh, bombard type thing. This one is the same sort of idea, but we'll put that a little bit lower. Actually, no, we doesn't. We don't really need to put it lower. The flying pigs, however, yeah, they're they're all kinds of low. They go right down the bottom. You notice the service ceiling on them though is actually quite good, so they don't need to. Um, they don't need to go near the bottom, so I might actually move them like that. The problem with some of these is that because they are, they do have a low service ceiling, we uh, need to make sure that we're not going to uh, ground out. Uh, this one is, it's going to go there, I guess. Problem here is if one of these gets attacked, it's going to be all kinds of bad. Anyway, start, and we will start the fight. So immediately, you can see we get a big uh, <laughs> bunch of... Um, bright lights going on because of the uh, where the pigs were because they've got these uh, lights down the bottom. We have multiple shots going out towards the ground uh, vessels here, the tanks, and looks like one of them has already been defeated, so that's um, acceptable. Let's just move this down. As people pointed out, uh, these things are going to be quite heavy now because, there we go, let's just say attack and everything can attack, say the front one there. Yes, um, these things are actually quite heavy because of the extra pieces that we've added. They do add a fairly a fairly decent amount of weight uh, and it's all just for, for looks really, so it's uh, not great. We're going to go for aimed fire here over on the right hand side. We need to take these out. As you can see, we've already chipped a big part of uh, this one on the right out. The centre one is now exploding, so that's going to be... Yeah, that's already gone. And we'll go with a gentle takeover. Now, once we've taken this over... What do we want to do? Well, I think we build a ground vessel and actually attack that away. The problem with that is once I've made it, it's then going to be completely useless because we don't have a dock to then get elsewhere, but we can use it to attack the giant bees. So, what do we want to What do we want to build? Well, this is something that uh, someone recommended in the comments, and that is to make a walker, which we haven't made in quite some time, but specifically we'll make something like an AT-AT. Not an oh, I think someone suggested 8080 as well, but uh, an 8080, um, 
so that would require some legs. Now, it's not going to look exactly like it just because of the way the legs work in this, but if we go for... Uh, the reason I can't see it is because I have design ship. I want to design a land ship. There we go. Um, so we've got a propulsion. We've got large legs. Now, would that be the size we're looking for? Um, it could be. It could be. We have our uh, bit around here, and then you have a stick bit on the front, and then the uh, then the head where the weapons are. We could do that. Let's go for small legs. Small legs would be... I mean, we could just have two small legs. Mm, seem a bit too small, actually. Medium legs, no. So it's either going to be the large legs, or it's going to be two of the small legs. Problem is that there's the height not decent. I mean, obviously they're going to look wrong anyway. I think for the sake of ease, we'll go with this one. We'll go with this one. So, we need propulsion. We need crew. Uh, we need weapons. So, uh, and we need lots of armor because these things are obviously heavily, heavily armored. So, we'll go over to probably, well, we've got propulsion on the go there. That's fine. Go for coal star. We're going to put a coal star there and there. We will put a fire point right next door. In between this, well, this gap here, we can probably go for, well, if it was accurate, I guess there could be, there'll be a supply hatch on the bottom, but I don't think we can manage that, so we'll probably put a supply hatch on uh, the back there, and that should probably do us, although, no, we'll, we'll worry about that later on. We've got, um, this, does it really want to go there? Uh, it can go there, that should be fine. Then we've got decent access to the, the, um, the firefighting. I don't know if we've got anything that can fit in there, though, that's the problem. That's the problem. It also needs to be quite tall. Um, I mean, don't worry, I'm not going to make it ex look exactly like an ATSD, mainly because it can't. But I'll do my best to make something at least sort of representative, which doesn't include stained glass there. Um, steel cargo door could be the... Could be a decent place to put that, I don't really know. Um, we could I, we could even shift these along like so, and then have that like so, and then we kind of have all the stuff in the center. That actually might be a better idea. Command and crew, quarters, one, two. Um, current crew is 24, uh, recommended crew, seven. Gonna put a third one in, and then a sick bay, and then we want a... Do we want some... Repair bay? I think a repair bay would be useful. Maybe get rid of that and put a repair bay. Actually, I think. Probably sick bay and a repair bay like so. Might be best to put a centralised um, centralised fire point as well. Yeah, that, that actually works, I think, a bit better. Problem is access. If we go to the overlays, pathing, you can see pathing isn't great from the centre, but it's... We don't really. We don't think we'll need much access up the top because I'm probably just gonna make just have a shape on there. Okay, right. We'll we'll sort of go with that for now. We then need a connector to the front where we'll have our weapons. Although I think what we'll do, um, <laughs> we'll probably make a mistake here by having the ammo store like that, and then we'll have the head. Now, technically, we should have a bridge on top of that, but I don't know if we're gonna use it. I don't know if we're going to do that. I don't know. Either way, we'll go for weapons. And what sort of weapons would be on there? Well, technically lasers, but we don't have access to lasers because I don't think they're in the game. Uh, the closest the closest to it is probably Suspendium Cannon, but we, again, we don't have access to that. Imperial Cannon would be good because it's called Imperial, and that actually looks sort of about right. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually considering this. Um... Imagine if we put that like that, and then we put a corridor, a corridor with ladder there. You know what? I'm not entirely shying away from that one because it seems cool. Let's see what it's like. I mean, we <laughs> we're playing it on breezy easy, so we don't really have to worry too much about. Um, it being completely and utterly garbage. If it's garbage, then we, we you know we just we chalk it up to bad bad idea. What other guns would we have on this thing, weapons wise? Ideally, a flat cannon would be very good, but I just don't think. Well, it's not really representative, but it might be a good idea to have a couple of flat cannons. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go with the bridge first, then. So, bridge. 
goes on top of it like so, and then we'll put the slopes on, you see. Actually, we might have to move that forward and back, I don't know, we'll see. So, there's the rough shape. So now we're going to go for um, armour, and we're going to say steel armour fill. Bang, there we go. Okay, so it is really, really slow and doesn't have any supply, so supply needs to be... I mean, we could just put it on the, on the, I mean, we could put it in the centre, couldn't we? Really, put it next to the guard barracks, because then you know, <laughs> good luck getting access to that, because you have to go through there and around, or oh, a hole that's been made. You understand? Either way, that is expensive already. But let's make it even heavier by adding some decorations. So we need to have it. Well, we need to have slopes on it. So I mean, we could put a slope there. Is that a wooden slope? Not just says slope front. Uh, what's it look like in armor wise? Oh, it fits. That's fine. Right, that's fine there. And then uh, I'm trying to remember my. I'm trying to remember roughly what it would look like. Would it come down there and then? Would it be that? Uh, that and that. Oh, hang on. No, that, that, and that. Mm, it's sort of walking camel like. But I don't know if it is. Entirely correct. Um, one there, one there, one there. It's hmm. Ideally, a one slope would be fine. And I'm putting that one there anywhere. Oh, hang on. That's yeah. It is actually taller at the top, I believe. Like that, and then. Well, quite frankly, where's just the square filler blocks? And oh, this is going to make it stupidly heavy. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's not not like what it is. Um, I did. We want another gun underneath there as well. Probably, maybe. I did say we weren't going for exactly right, which is good job because I don't think we'd ever get it right. But I mean, it's it's so close enough. <laughs> um, right? I mean, fill it, make yeah, make it make it as white as we can get because that's the colours of it. Actually, no. Yes, it is white. It is white. Episode five, white. Episode. Uh, oh, there's a couple of them, isn't there? Uh, episode eight. You've got those ones with the um, protection bits around the feet so it can't be tow cabled. And you've also got them on Rogue One as well, but they're called AT... 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 ATS... AT... All-Terrain... Assault... TT? I don't know. There's another There's another letter because it stands for like something else because it's like more armoured or it's got like big thick cans on the side. I'm sure uh, the comments will prevail. Anyway, so that's our rough shape. Let's just go down to weapons and we'll see what we can put on the bottom. Bombay, no. Uh, deck gun, all kinds of no. Dorsal turret would be very interesting to put it on the top there, but that's not going to happen. Flat cannon, I really would like to put flat cannons on this, but I don't think it's going to happen. Grape shot, perhaps not. Grenades, no. I don't think there's anything really that is going to... Work out. Ram? No. Ventral turret? And uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, aerial torpedo, maybe? Ooh. Maximum firepower. Ooh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I'm liking that. I think, I think we're going to go with that. Right, so. We want our coat of arms on the side. Uh, actually, what about if we make it smaller? Put it on the front. Get rid of that one. No, neither really seems to sit well. There's an ornate coat of arms. Round all. Uh, again, that, there's good, but because of where I've put them supply hatches, it's uh, a bit of a nightmare. No, I'll we'll, ah, we'll deal with it. Okay. Don't want to put any like face bits on it like eyeballs or anything like that don't want to put any gold leaf I don't think we need any of that flags um I don't know about flags and you got things like antennas and stuff which could go on that's not too bad put an antenna on there a probe 
Yeah, I mean, we're just making it a bit... Don't know, I'm just making a little bit extra there. Got some vents. There we go. So, Luke can get inside. Uh, some... That says horns, but we're going to use them as like little laser bits. Grids. Don't think I want grids. Exhaust pipe. Don't think they have exhaust pipes, but... Nah, no, I don't think so. And a large grill. No. Less is more. Less is more. That'll be about right. Okay, decoration. or oh, paint again. So, fill that up. And sadly, there is no access to the to this thing. Hmm. So I'd have to have that, which really spoils the look of it. So instead, I could do that, and then go to shapes, have that. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Hmm. I don't think it's as good, but it's probably a bit more salty. We'll go with that. We'll go with that for the lack of a for lack of a better designer. We're going to go with that one. It'd be nice to put some more shape down the bottom, but I mean, <laughs> look at that. It's crazy days. Uh, decoration is already on. Just going to check anything else. Metal dish, maybe. I mean, do really no. I don't need a metal dish. Probe thing. Uh. Don't mind that on there. Actually, to be fair, it should go there, shouldn't it? Underneath. Like that. I'm going to remove that. Put them like that. Yeah, that's better. Probe can go forward, because that's what the guns are. The two guns go at the front. Yeah, that's all right. Now it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to take the antenna off the head. I don't know if it has antennas on the top. I can't remember. But we're going to do that. Actually, no, we'll just keep the one on the other side as well. No flags. Um, oh, we could make it our own and put a flag on the back. Get rid of that antenna and put a flag on instead. Do you reckon? Uh, look how big some of the flags are. <laughs> yeah, you'd see that coming a mile away. Yeah, that. oh, that's a bit better. Maybe. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. So I think that's... Uh, I think a bit more detail on the top there, perhaps. Small intake. Large intake. Mm. Voltaic cells. I mean, there's loads of extra pieces, isn't there? See, I don't want it to have... Um, too much stuff hanging off it. A statue? That's strange. I mean, a lot of the Star Wars stuff, anyway, if I, all of it, is very, um, it's very detailed and, like, it's not, it's not sleek, you know, episode, episode one and the prequels and stuff, yeah, that, that's, you know, they've gone for that sleek design, whereas it's a lot, um, it's got a lot, lot of extra stuff clamped on it in the, the originals. Right, so I think that's about Okay, we will probably put a large nameplate. Or a small. Yes, yeah, so put that there now, you won't be able to see it. Um, I think. I don't think. Do we need a nameplate? Get rid of these little things. Large steel nameplate. Uh, GLV. Um, It's the AT ish T. <laughs> right. So, save design, save it, and not build it because we are building it here, which means it's completely useless. So, we're going to wait for this gentle takeover and um, see where they're going. Looks like there's going to be all sorts of assaults and stuff here. Yep. So they're going back and forward, back and forward. Just going to check the defences on these ones. Um, that's okay, but really, build a building. White lookout. Okay. There. Leave. Same thing here. 
Um, do we need one there? Not really. Um, I think the rest of them are okay as well. That could do with one, but I mean, nobody's going to be attacking us with any great amount, I don't think. Anyway, we'll just unpause it and we'll see. Actually, we'll max it up just to uh, build one of these things. So that's been, I'm going to say, where are they attacking? No, they're not attacking anywhere. So I want to go to build land chip and the at -HT. There we go. And that'll probably take, <coughs> excuse me, quite a while. Um, that's revolting cities will join our empire. That's pretty good. Let's just have a look at their, their forces. Not great. Oh, they have a lot of defences with big cannons as well. Okay. That's going to be a problem. going to say build ship. I think build the bomber. Build, another, build a couple of bombers, actually. Oh, they're attacking me, are they? That could be a problem, because they're going to get there first. Right, so they're attacking me with three things. I have um, only some small defences here, but a lot of flak as well. So let's just see how this uh, works out. So they have... Oh, flamers! So they've got three... Oh, three vessels with flamers. That's six flamers in total, and it looks like the aeroplanes are deciding to... Uh, well... They really want to toast some marshmallows, apparently. Oh yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, <laughs> I think I am, however, winning that fight. I'm gonna put these on aimed fire just because we're missing and they're not moving. Um, you can start to see now that we're getting through the armor at the back there. Uh, it's hitting right near the suspendium chamber and the drive system, and the triplane is actually doing. Fairly decent damage. Yeah, it seems to be doing okay. I mean, the thing is, they're not attacking me, so I mean, there's no real great problem here. They have, they have water, as far as I can tell, and it's raining, so the chances of fire on their vessels are slim to none. Looks like the central vessel. Oh, is that a plane falling up the sky? No, it's just making its way back. So it looks like this central vessel here, the one in between, has lost one of its flamers. So what I might do is I'm going to concentrate all my firepower on the central one. Because it means that if we hit something vital and then land on this one, I mean, you could argue the same at the top there, but there you go. That's what I wanted to happen. I knew it was close to going down, so what we'll do is we'll target the top one now and hopefully that'll fall out the sky as well. This is a fairly done fight unless there's something that I've missed like is, have they got any other vessels? I can't see them. I can't see any other vessels. So yeah. So there's another explosion on this uh, bottom one here and there's another explosion so they've lost the ramming prow and one of the flamers and yeah these these triplanes are really doing very very well. Looks like the drive system's been knocked out on the bottom one. Suspendium chamber exposed. There goes the top suspendium chamber taking out the <laughs> drive system as well. And now they're both grounded permanently. Because there's no way that the bottom one has the lift to get the other one up and uh, well it's lost the suspendium chamber anyway. So technically these guys are still in the fight. They do have weapons but obviously being flamethrowers very short ranged and it looks like now that the top one is starting to crush the bottom. So that is not good. I like all the bits of debris that you get around here like barrels and <laughs> other, other gubbins. There is a technical term for all of the things that they stick on the outside of models. Um, and it's not gribble, it's something else. Gnarling? No, not gnarling. I can't remember the term from it. It's a model making term when they put um, bits on the outside. Anyway, there's a Vic and Terry, so that's all being completerated. So we're going to build the AT Ishti, and I'm going to send that back over there because. Um, well, quite frankly, I think we need something there. We'll just double check our... our actually, I was, I was just about to say, I'll double check this to make sure it's, nothing's been uh, damaged. But as you can clearly tell, uh, no, nothing has been because they didn't move. Either way, I'm going to leave it there. I was going to, I was hopefully going to try the AT Ishti out, but looks like we're not going to have time for that one. Next episode, we will, however, we're going to build another one. We'll have two of them. Then we'll go and attack Bardon and... Um, 
and probably send our entire fleet there because, well, taking that out is important. And then we'll probably attack the giant bees, not the bees. And then, um, yeah, we'll we'll have to probably just scrap them or just no, I'll probably just have one in each city as a defense. And then we've got all of the south to deal with. So we will see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.